how vulnerable is vulnerable. Share your feelings and emotions and enjoy the moment. I visited Uplitsiki, a town hewn from the rocks and a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Georgia. I am Lois, your friend for forgiveness, and this is another of my Mission Mojo stories. After I'd walked around this cave village, this cave town, and explored and entered into some of the caves, I lost the path a number of times, and I ended up scrambling over rocks and sliding down rocks. I was the only person there, not another person in sight, so I had nobody to ask for directions. It looks quite small in the picture, but it's quite a large little town. <laughs> And it was hot and I was bothered. And I went to the museum afterwards, small little museum, and I bought myself an ice cream and a cold drink. From there, I climbed back into the car and happily driving along, I came across a street market. I stopped fabulous displays of fresh fruit and vegetables. Walking up and down, I was absolutely amazed by the friendliness of the Georgian men, laughing and smiling and waving at me. And I thought, gosh, these Georgian men are gorgeous and they are wonderful and they are friendly. I selected a juicy piece of fruit and I went to a tap to rinse it off. At the tap, a woman came up to me and she whispered in my ear, I didn't understand what she said, she pointed to my buttocks. I turned around, looked over my shoulder, and to my horror, I saw that my pants had ripped open and my buttocks was hanging out. <laughs> it must have torn when I was sliding down the rocks in Uplitsiki. I was so embarrassed. I ran back to the car and drove away feeling terrible. Then I thought about it afterwards, and I thought, why am I embarrassed? I'll never see those people again. They'll never see me again. I gave them a lot of enjoyment and laughter. And I've now got a story to tell. So why was I so embarrassed? Question. Is it better to know or not to know? I was happy in my oblivion until it was pointed out to me. And I would never see those people again. So what did it matter? And so what if they saw my buttocks? I gave plenty of enjoyment to a lot of men <laughs> as, they, as they witnessed my large South African juicy buttocks. I am Lois, your friend for forgiveness, and I run the channel Walking Without Skin, which is about overcoming obstacles. It's about getting unstuck. It's about finding your feet after a failure. And I would love you to please subscribe and to watch my videos. More videos on my blunders on Mission Mojo, the videos on finding your feet after failure, and there's a lot more to be seen on my channel as well. So please do subscribe, do watch the various videos, and do give me feedback. I'd love to hear what you would like to know more about. Thank you, and fly free.